Subtraction is the addition of the opposite. So let's do some long subtraction problems now in the exploding dots way. For example, let's do 536 take away 123. Uh-oh, 536 plus the opposite of 123. Okay, here goes. Let me draw a picture of what we're starting with, which is uh, 500, five actual hundreds. There they are, five dots. 33 tens, there they are, and six actual ones, six dots here. There's 536. And let's now add the opposite of 123. Let's add the opposite of one dot in the hundreds place. Let's add one Todd in the, in the hundreds place. Let's add the opposite of two dots in the tens place. So let's add two Todds in the tens place. And let's add the opposite of three dots in the units place. That is three Todds in the units place. There we go. There's a picture of 536 plus the opposite of 123. All right, now I see a dot and a Todd. Okay, poof, they annihilate and go away. There's a dot and a Todd, poof, they annihilate. Dot and Todd, poof, annihilate. Uh, dot, Todd, dot, Todd, another dot and Todd, poof, 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 three annihilations, there we go. And I see what's left behind is four in the hundreds place, one in the tens place, three in the units place. The answer is 413. Now if I look at that, I can say, oh, it's just as though I went left to right, five take away one is four, three take away two is one, six take away three is three. Left to right again, and there's the answer. Whoa, it seems like everything is left to right. This is great. All right, but you might be saying, James, 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 that was a very nice subtraction problem. You should do a more complicated one. Okay, let's do a more complicated one. All right, let's do something like, I don't know, 512 take away 347. Okay, that should be a good one. So what did I just say? I said 512, I should remember what I say, take away 347. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be quirky. Let's do the left to right thing again. Five take away three is two. One take away four is negative three. Two take away five is neg two seven is negative five. There's the answer. It's 200 negative three to negative five. Whoa, whoa. In fact, I'm gonna draw a picture to show that's absolutely correct. Here's the dots and boxes picture of this. We start with 500, five actual dots there in the hundreds place, one ten, one actual dot in the tens place, and two ones, two actual dots in the ones place. And please add the opposite of 347. The opposite of three dots here would be three Todds there. Opposite of four dots in the tens place would be four Todds there. And the opposite of seven dots there would be seven Todds here. Four, five, six, seven, there we go. All right, definitely some annihilations. Dot and Todd, poof. Dot and Todd, poof. Dot and Todd, poof. Great, or oh, one Dot and Todd, poof. There's a little smudge there, let's get all the smudges, that's good so far. Uh, dot and Todd, poof. And Dot and Todd, poof. And look, I really am seeing two actual dots there, three anti-dots there, and five anti-dots there. The answer truly is 200, negative 3T, negative five. Okay, so of course society would never accept an answer like that even though it's actually solid and mathematically correct. There's nothing mathematically wrong with that answer, it's just weird. So why am I sighing? Because I guess my job now is to make it look less weird for society. What could I do to possibly fix this answer up to one that society would accept? Okay, let's take some thinking. What could I possibly do to fix this up? All right, so I have to think for a while here. So what does, society doesn't like this, doesn't like Todd's here. Is there any way I can get some more dots in that box to annihilate with those Todds? And if I think about it for a while, and the answer is yes. I can actually use one of those dots there, because I do know 10 dots exploded to make a dot there. I could actually unexplode that dot and bring it back to being 10 dots here. So what's a good sound effect for the unexploding? Um, okay, I'll do a sucking sound. So unexplode that dot, here goes. Bring it back to being 10 dots here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There they go. All right, oh, I like that. So I've got one less dot there, and I've made 10 dots there. And the reason I like that, because now I've got dot and Todd, poof, dot and Todd, poof, dot and Todd, poof. There you go, annihilate, annihilate, annihilate. And I can see that's really, ah, seven dots there. The answer is 170, negative five. Okay, people don't like that. I wish there were some dots in there to annihilate with those Todds. Make it happen. I can take one of these dots here, unexplode it and make 10 dots here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got one less dot there, so it's gonna be messy. So there's six, there's a one, there's a six, and now I've got an extra 10 dots there. All right, except Dot and Todd, poof. 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 Dot and
Go on top, poof. Okay, a bit smudgy, let's get rid of my smudges, but it looks like I'm actually left with five actual dots there. So the actual answer is 165, and I think society would accept that answer. Wow, wow. Okay, I really like that. I think that's really, really cool. Okay, all right. Um, this is very different what I was taught in school. Let me, let me go through what I was taught to do in school. So in school, I had to do something like this. Uh, let me get my 512 back there. Let me clean the whole board, get my picture back to the beginning. In school, I was taught to think takeaway. All right, so I'll do the takeaway thinking again, but I'll do it in the way school wants me to do it. So 501 T2. All right, I want to do two takeaway seven, because school always had me go right to left. Two takeaway seven, can't do it. So what does school make me do? It says, uh, let's borrow uh, that number there, make that one less and make that 12. That's very weird. What's it really doing? It's doing what I did. It does an unexplosion. Let's unexplode that dot. Make it one less dot there. None of them now. But now I've got an extra 10 dots here. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's 12 dots and I want to take away seven. Yes, I can do that. Goodbye, seven of them. There they are and I'm left with five. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I've got zero dots and I want to take away four. Okay, society says I can't do that. So make one of these dots here, have one less dot here and unexploded and make it 10 here. Okay, that's what I did before as well. I did do an unexplosion there. We're doing the same thing. So I've got 10 dots here now, 10 take away four. Let's get rid of four of them. There they are. And I'm left with six behind. And then finally we'll do four take away three. Yes, I can do that. Four take away three is one. 165, there it is. So actually, actually, what I was taught in school is the exploding dots way. It just has me go right to left and do unexplosions as I go along and think takeaway all the time. But I have to say, I really like my way. I just say, go left to right, 512. Five take away three is two. One take away four is negative three. Two take away seven is negative five. And then just fix it up with unexplosions. That's really cool. You know, both ways are good and correct. It's just a style thing. Do all the explosions at the end. That's what I would do. Or do all the unexplosions as you go along. That's what school makes you do. It's all fine. It's all fine. Though, though, there's an extra reason I like what I did. Because actually I can see what the answer is right now. I've got 200 negative three to negative five. What's that two really? What's really 200? What's that negative three really? It's really negative 30. And what's that negative five really? It's really negative five. Oh, so the answer is 200, negative 30, negative five. Uh, that's 170. 170 take away five is, there it is. I can see that's 165 right now. Okay, this is really cool.